Hey, I'm going to talk to you quick about PayPal's new Pay with Venmo smart payment button. We get a lot of customers reaching out to us asking questions like, hey, how did this Pay with Venmo button get on my checkout page? Where does the money go with if somebody uses it? Did I forget to set something up? Oh no, I'm panicking. And generally, there's no need to panic. Everything is okay. This is a brand new button uh, powered by PayPal's smart payment buttons, and it's been rolled out in the fall of um, 2021. It originally started showing up more on mobile. So if you're a shopper, somebody who was paying you, it was on a mobile device, an iOS or an Android device, the button was showing. And now it's starting to show more on desktop with a new supported Venmo desktop flow. So let's talk about it a little bit, where the money goes and how things work uh, for about five minutes. And you will have all the info about PayPal's new Pay with Venmo button. So. PayPal, if you're using them as your payment provider on an e-commerce site or in an e-commerce application, just like the ones we build at Payable, um, the developer who's using the latest version of the Smart Payment Buttons JavaScript uh, can surface far more than just the PayPal experience for you. So as you've seen in our checkout, there's the PayPal button, there's a Venmo button, there's a Pay Later button, which is the purchase financing, uh, four separate installments. So you could take an expensive purchase and split it evenly over a few uh, smaller transactions. And then even an inline card process. So this is debit or credit card button is also powered by PayPal. And if somebody puts their card number in here, it goes right into your PayPal account. So PayPal does far more than just the old fashioned branded uh, checkout nowadays. They are powering all four of these options for you as a seller seamlessly. No matter what button somebody chooses, the money goes right into your PayPal account and you would see that transaction. You could click refund, you could do all the different things that you normally do from inside your PayPal account, no matter what button somebody chooses to use. So that's really quite cool. So you don't need to worry about setting up a Venmo account to accept Venmo transactions. It's actually impossible with this new PayPal smart payment button. The seller or the buyer will use Venmo, but you as a seller will receive that money right into your connected PayPal account, the same PayPal account you connected to that platform partner uh, during setup. So really seamless, really easy. That lets PayPal roll these buttons out globally, uh, automatically overnight without doing anything uh, uh, or asking you for extra permission or anything like that. So really quite cool. So what does the checkout process look like? It's actually hard for me to show it to you because I'm Canadian and I, I have a hard time actually uh, getting a Venmo account and a Venmo app. But if you're a seller and you're in the United States and you're selling in US dollars, there's two separate buyer experiences. So I'm just going to kind of walk you through the demos that PayPal shares. The first would be if I'm on my mobile phone, I'm using my mobile phone that the Venmo app is installed on. So if somebody's reached out to you and they said, hey, I saw a Venmo button, how do I pay you with Venmo? I wanna, I wanna do that. You'd say, well, make sure you're going through the checkout flow on the phone that has your Venmo app installed. So they would go from the checkout page in the web browser. When they click on the Venmo button, it should open the Venmo application. It should show them the amount, let them pick uh, any funding instrument or balance that they have on file. And then it would return them to your checkout page with a check mark and everything would be done really quite easy. The second flow, which is rolling out now, is called the desktop flow. And so because there's no login with Venmo via web, everything is done by the app. So it's an app first wallet. What happens when you check on it from a desktop device is on your desktop or on your laptop, if you were the customer, it's going to show a QR code. And then you as the customer would take your phone from beside you and point it at the, at the QR code, scan it. And that's going to put the to the checkout page of the website and your phone into kind of a linked status where you would see the total amount and approve it and then it would finish the transaction on the website so really kind of cool you so to do desktop you need two devices you need your laptop and your phone to complete it whereas if you're just checking out on your phone all you need is your phone so i hope that kind of helps explain it a little bit uh, how it works and here's some of the eligibility. You must be in the United States. You have to do uh, US dollars. And then the merchant has to have uh, the partner like us. We've already done all the hard work for you in setting it up. So um, that is how that works. Pretty straightforward and easy. If you're in the sandbox flow or in test mode, we call it uh, at Payable when we've left your form in test mode, there is no real end to end test mode for um, Venmo. If I click on this again, I think sometimes it'll do it. Hold on for me. Close. Pay with Venmo. Yeah, we'll just kind of do something like this. It'll say Venmo is working. Um, you can go through with a sandbox test account 
but you can click this little button to preview the buyer experience. And what this will do is just kind of play a video like we just saw. When you hit the Venmo button, it'll app switch over and bring you into the Venmo app. And this will then uh, let you approve the total. And then you would app switch back to the website and that would finish off everything. So that's kind of actually not the desktop flow, but that's the mobile flow there that they kind of give you a little preview of. So if you have a Venmo button showing up on your website, don't panic, everything is good. If somebody uses it, the money will go right into your PayPal account. Now we do get some questions about fees. Well, how much does it cost? Because Venmo is free. It's a P2P tool, typically a peer-to-peer -to -peer tool. Um, and so it, I want Venmo to be free is you know a, a question we get a lot. The way PayPal has set this up is they are actually not doing P2P transactions, but these are commercial transactions. So you are going to pay uh, the same fee that you would pay if somebody used the PayPal button to send you money. Now, the, there's, there's pros and cons to this. So the pro is typical Venmo P2P, what they do is they surcharge the user who's sending money if they use specific funding instruments, right? Like if they use a card uh, and they aren't using balance, they're going to kind of surcharge, pass on a fee to the customer. However, when it's a commercial transaction, like what platform set up, uh, like... Um, like any platform that's out there, when you're connecting uh, PayPal as to be your payment provider, whether it's Shopify or payable apps or anything out there that you're connecting uh, to do automated payments with, those become commercial transactions. There is no way to automate P2P transactions or peer-to-peer -peer transactions. So just like with the PayPal button, the Venmo button will come with the same fees that your PayPal branded checkout would use. So to you, it's invisible as a seller, but the good thing is your customer gets to use any funding instrument that they choose in their Ven Venmo wallet with no additional cost to them. So really quite good, uh, very impressive. It's just in line with the way everything else works and you don't have to set up a Venmo account to accept the money. It goes right into your PayPal account. Inside payable apps, we keep track of the payment method uh, that somebody clicks on. And so you would see inside of your sheet here, we see PayPal-PayPal. PayPal-Card, PayPal-Venmo. And so that's really just telling you, okay, the money is in your PayPal account, uh, but somebody did pay with PayPal or they clicked the Venmo button, sorry. Uh, somebody, pay, the money is in your PayPal account, but somebody clicked the card button. And so that's kind of how we keep track of what would be kind of like a sub funding instrument. How everything is, is sent to your PayPal account, but what somebody clicked on was uh, that different instrument. So I hope that's helpful for those of you who are getting up and seeing that PayPal, PayPal, that new pay with Venmo button and might have been surprised to see it there. Don't worry, everything is good. We've already seen thousands and thousands of transactions come through the, the platform uh, using Venmo. So although the button is brand new and every now and then you might have a customer that says, ah, I tried to use it, but it didn't quite work for me. Uh, make sure that they're using uh, the device with the Venmo app installed on it, that they got Venmo installed on that phone that they're using and uh, they should be good to go. So a really cool new feature from PayPal uh, and for those sellers that have PayPal connected and are in the United States selling in US dollars. Any other questions, just feel free to message us in uh, the comment section below. I'll answer any questions about the Pay With Venmo button, uh, but uh, I hope that helps. Cheers.